malaria thrives on bad information. Even the name malaria, it's an Italian word that means poisonous or unwholesome air. Uh, even the name malaria is a misnomer. It starts with misinformation. Uh, and so increasingly we have tools that are improving our information. Until a few years ago, there was no way to get a timely, accurate diagnosis in a rural setting. Um, but in the last four or five years, uh, the, the RDTs have come along. Uh, they've been refined through a process led by the World Health Organization. And there are now 200 million of these RDTs rolling out on the African continent each year. Rapid diagnosis tests that help health workers to identify actual malaria cases and ACT Artemisine-based combination therapies have been real game-changers in the fight against malaria. Ten years ago, 2003, it was a completely different world for malaria. In fact, if you go about five years earlier than that, 1998 saw the foundation of the Rollback Malaria Partnership to say, you know what, we haven't done anything about this disease in 30 years. They had eliminated malaria in nearly 100 countries by that point. But if you look at the map, they were all north or south of the tropics. Between the year 2000 and today, there has been a 33% decrease in malaria cases in Africa. But today, 3.3 billion people in the world are still at risk of the disease. 90% of the deaths due to malaria occur in sub-Saharan Africa. Here in Zambia, they've developed a, a really um, impressive system where now 500 and growing uh, health workers are using a very simple SMS-based system to report on a weekly basis the number of people who uh, come into clinics with malaria-like symptoms. The SMS reporting system is proving effective in collecting data on malaria in Zambia, but this is just part of the story. As reported by the Deputy Director of the Zambian Disease Surveillance, Control and Research, Mr. Max Biupe, in 2013 alone, the Zambian government is investing $24 million in malaria control. In the last 10 years, Zambia has improved the drug distribution system, distributed bad nets against mosquitoes, fought against its marshes and swamps. The government of Zambia is supporting the Power of One campaign organized by the NGO Malaria No More and backed by big international companies like Novartis and Alir. The goal is delivering tests and treatments to 3 million children under 5 by 2015. The Power of One campaign is, is built on the idea that uh, we're seeing tremendous innovation in mobile phones in Africa, but we need to marry that with the innovation in mobile phones in our lives in non-endemic countries and help to fill some of these key needs. So the campaign's built on a very simple proposition. It doesn't get any simpler than this. One dollar buys and delivers one life-saving test and treatment to save a child's life. Malaya No More is confident that the African people are going to be involved too. The Power of One campaign will end by 2015, but if it will prove effective, Martin Endel and Malaria No More, with all their international partners, are going to expand it to more sub-Saharan countries. <laughs> Thank you.